Right, so we're here at Cafe Loco, which is Matthew's coffee shop in Moorpark, and I'm with Ian Topman. Hi, Ian. Hello. You're going to talk to us this morning about Dens, which is a charity that you work with, which is based in Hemel Hempstead. That's correct, yes. Okay, so tell us a little bit about Dens and how you got involved. Uh, Dens is a charity for the homeless, okay. and the idea is that we not only help people who are homeless, but also assist them to get their lives back together. Okay. I became involved because one of my clients uh, came and saw me one day and said, oh, we're looking for another trustee, and would you like to do it? And told me it would take about five meetings a year, which is a complete fabrication, but that's life, isn't it? So I became a trustee, and I've been a trustee now for, I don't know, maybe ten years, something like that. Okay, so what 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 do Dens do in him? I know you've just really got this exciting new project which you've been bidding for and it's come to fruition, which is fantastic. Tell us a bit about that, but that, that's not the only building you you've got, is it? Um, what we have is a day centre right. where people can come in off the streets and they will be given some food. But we're also changing that slightly because we want to give them more of a program to enable them again to work to get back into society. I mean, they can come in, they can use a computer, they yep. can look at a newspaper, they can look for job interviews and things like that. So that's the day centre. The new project is, as you quite rightly refer to, is the Elms, right? Right. which is a large night shelter. We have a night shelter at the moment. Uh, that takes 12 people, this new one's going to take 41 people. Right, I Some of them are going to be the responsibility of Decorum Borough Council, yep. who have uh, built it, um, and they've asked us to manage it. We won the bid to manage it. Okay. Um, so we're going to be responsible for 21 people in there, and those people will be subject to a sort of educational programme where we are working with people to get them back into society. And in fact, it's been so successful it's been really you know, encouraging the way we people back. Unfortunately, there's always a continual supply of people who are mm. their jobs. We have to fund all of this. Yep. Right? So we have um, a... We sell second-hand furniture. People right. donate the furniture to us. And we do an awful amount of fundraising. And the people of Hemel and around have been brilliant. We've got all the businesses. Yep. So the churches. The churches are very good in supporting us. Right. And we've also been proactive in obtaining grants. So we've had a small lottery grant. Right. And we've got several grants always ongoing getting grants because we can't rely upon handouts by local authorities anymore. They just haven't got the money. And this is one of the most the things that I talk about to people quite a lot about is that anybody can find themselves on the street. You're only three steps away. You lose your job. You, and and actually, it's a real issue. And if we all pull together as a community to support something like this, we can make a massive difference. You're absolutely right. There, there is no doubt that people don't realise how vulnerable they are. These mm. people are not down and out as we sort of have this image of yeah, yeah. These people are family people whose families are broken up. They're directors whose companies have crashed. Yeah. And suddenly they can't support people, so they become homeless. Mm. So you have, you know, the people who are in the night shelter or come into the day centres, because that way, some of them will have slept rough. Some of them will have slept in the, in the night shelter. Yeah. And some of them will be what we call sofa surfing. Mm. And those people are extremely vulnerable because, unfortunately, the way of the world is that people say, yeah, you can sleep on my sofa, but there is a price to pay. Mm. That's particularly true with women. Yeah, yeah. We also do um, food parcels, and we hand out thousands of food parcels. Every one of them is worth about £20. And that's all funded by the community. They all give us the food. It has to be in date. We have a big warehouse where we store the food. Brilliant. So, um, and that obviously serves a very important function. I know we've talked about it, but I'm going to come up and do a video of some of the facilities. I know there's, yeah, yeah, if you could just show us around, I, some of it might be a bit sensitive, so we, I'll have to take your guidance on that, but it'd be really good to do that because I think a lot of people out there probably don't know the good work. They probably don't understand how it all kind of pans out, really, and I think it'd be really nice to just show some people, you know, the, the actual physical. No, no problem with that. Fantastic. All right, well, look, thanks very much for talking to us, uh, Ian, and, uh, yeah, and uh, I'll get in touch and we'll do, the, uh, we'll do that little tour as well. Okay. Okay, thanks very much.